seen it. Unseen Radio. You're listening to Badge Music Review Corner on Unseen Radio. Hello everybody, welcome to the Unseen Radio Review Corner with me your host Ben Edge, Badge from the Badge Music blog. We've got three guests here today. We've got Lightning Joe from the Furious 55s and Becky and Gary from Serious Types. This is the first track they're going to be reviewing today. It's by the Mobs, it's called Ruby Soul. about that. about that. feel about how do you feel about besotted 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 with you besotted 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 with you besotted 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 with you besotted besotted with besotted with you how do you feel about how do you feel about how do you feel about that feel about how do you feel about how do you feel about that that was the mobs taken from their third album stiff upper lip and trousers to match with ruby soul we're playing that because they will be playing at nestival on saturday the 6th of july uh, we'll be talking to becky and gary from the series types about that later but first, Lightning Joe, how did you feel about that? How did I feel about that? Well, I love the mobs, they're great. They're very distinctive what they do. They take from quite, like, influences from things that I like as well. So, yeah, top marks. Brilliant. They are quite similar to the uh, the Furious 55s, which is your band, would you say? Yeah, they copy yeah. us quite a lot. <laughs> Plagiarism, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'll mark them down. They, actually, they can lose a few marks for that. So. Lose a few marks, right. Yeah, then. yeah, so not quite top marks. So what would you give that out of 10? Oh, God, I don't, I don't know, really. Uh, we'll give it a strong 7 out of 10. Strong 7, in opposed to a weak 7. Yeah. Becky? Um... I'm a big fan of the mobs and I really Who like isn't? that track. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> They're like uh, little local treasures, I think, in town. I don't know many people who don't like them. So I really like their, their new album, this album, a lot more than their previous one. I was a big fan of their first album, Erect But Powerless, I think. Is that their first album? Yes. Yes. And I think it's kind of, it's gone a bit more back to, what, well, back to their roots. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Gary, what would your thoughts? Um, yeah, no, I, I thought it's good. It's a good record. I really like the way they record it. It's all analog, and it's yes. all done in a couple of days, and it's all very honest. Yeah, I'll give it an eight out of ten. I'll give it an eight as well, actually. 
I feel a bit harsh now, actually, yeah. giving it a strong seven. <laughs> I can't really tell. I've got to live and die by. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My words. Shall we go? Yeah. Right, well, we're playing that because they are playing a festival. It's a free community festival that we're running on the 6th and 7th of July uh, at Midsummer Meadow, which is on the Bedford Road. And we've got local artists and musicians and, you know, different food stalls. We've got circus tent and it's all from the county and it's just kind of a showcase of everything that's happening in town that's pretty good. We um, brewed our own beer as well for the festival. We've got Potbelly supplying the beers and they kindly invited us to their brewery where we've made our own beer, Nestive Ale, which will be available at the festival. We haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it'll be lovely. It will be lovely. It'll be amazing. So who's who's on the lineup? The lineup we've got uh, the Moons um, headlining the Saturday. Um, We've got Sergeant Bilko's Crazy Combo, who they're an old sort of 80s um, psychobilly band. Very good. Yep. Um, we have Furious 55s. We have the Mobs, obviously, yeah. just heard there. Yes. Very good. And uh, JJ Stone and the Campfire, who is up next with a zebra and a lion. Oh, 
It's lovely, isn't it? Taken from his super hot EP. That's J. Joe Stone and the Campfire with a zebra and a lion. Gary, you released that on your record label, so I'm presuming you absolutely hate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I, I used to like it, but yeah, I've heard it too many times. It's very trite. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's very good. We released it last year. I think it was last March. No, June, actually, wasn't it? It was this time last year. It was, yeah. It yeah. was Luke's, Luke's birthday. birthday. Yeah, Luke played. Uh, yeah, it's really, yeah, I think uh, it's really quite evocative stuff he's got a very nice voice and writes very good songs very talented guy it was kind of recorded in Jay's house and it's all very low key because by the time they released the record they'd kind of got more band members and they'd grown as a band and that's quite a quiet kind of like relaxed EP I know he's, he's got plans to record some more with the full band which would be quite different more instruments yes Joe well, I mean, as I was saying to you before, you know, in the uh, green room, that uh, it's difficult because obviously I'm, I'm actually in Julian's band now. Oh, I yeah. think, anyway, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I mean, more you know, everyone's in everyone's band. I know, I know, yeah, but yeah, so it's very difficult because you know, but it is that I haven't heard it for ages, and it, it just reminded me how good actually it is. All that stuff, it's so understated. I think that EP and and everything on it, it's nothing forced about it. It's just. It does exactly what it needs to do, and I, yeah, I think it's great. I think, I think the playing's great, the, the singing's great, the lyrically it's amazing. Uh, high, no. high scoring, I would say. Yes, um, Becky. Um, yeah, I'm the same as Joe. I haven't heard it for ages. When we uh, were releasing it, we were kind of listening to it all the time, and this is the first time I've heard it played for ages, and it's just it's so beautiful. And I think if anyone's not seen Julian play live as well to see come when to he, next door yeah when he, I mean when he performs that song you have just kind of a dead silence you just stop and listen I think it's be- it's just beautiful really beautiful I really like the bass in it it's just yes yeah, it's, it's great yep. so should we get the scores Gary nine Joe I'll probably yeah nine yeah I might okay. give it a ten ten ten, ten. yeah it's biased. Yeah, is it biased probably both JJ Stone and the Campfire and the Mobs, who we played earlier. Uh, two very different bands, but both playing on the Nestful Bill on Saturday the 6th of July and Sunday the 7th of July at Midsummer Meadows. It's free, actually, you didn't mention it's that. Free, it's free, yes. It's free for all. And there will be their own self brewed beer, which is always nice. Beer is always nice. It is. We also got uh, local wines and ciders. There's yeah. a bicycle powered smoothie maker. Oh, fantastic. This is in partnership with Molten Fruit and Veg. So you can choose your ingredients and then ride your bike and blend it up. Yeah, that was a... Um, you can have a go on that, Ben. Nice. I will. Excellent. I'll, I'll be there. I was wondering, as there is a festival this weekend, say that we are planning our own festival and all the other bands are booked, but all we need is three headliners. I would okay. have David Bowie. David Bowie. What, now David Bowie or...? David Bowie from, like... Ziggy Stardust. Right. So build a time machine. Yeah. Go back to... That's what I would have. Gary, who do you have? Well, if I could borrow Becky's time machine, yeah. I'd probably have Lonnie Donegan and his mm-hmm. band from 55. 
He's dead. After Beyonce or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lonnie Donegan. <laughs> With Beyonce. Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would have... Um, what about like the uh, the Floyd or something like that from like sort of the era of when they played in Pompeii and all that sort of thing like yeah, metal sure. like, you know, that that would be good. This time the sudden, it's going to be a bit. Yeah, it's going to get use. heavy use. Yeah, but yeah. you know I think it would be worth it. But yeah, as the sun was going down, that would be good. Also on the festival news this weekend on Friday the fifth of July, we have Walk in the Park Festival at the Woodham Recreation Grounds, a rival festival. <laughs> Boom, boom. You, could, you could camp there and then you could uh, pack your things away and just stroll down with your, with your rucksack to the NM Festival. What and reckon? Oh, you can't camp at your festival, can you? No. no. Sorry, oh. that's important for the uh, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> this is our next song. It's a bit of future drum and bass from a guy called Chris Robinson. This is CDR with his song, This Is CDR.
his short and snappy song. This is CDR, a full six minutes long. He's a sort of futuristic ambient drum and bass sort of guy. Uh, who described himself as music and rhythm that find their way into the secret places of the soul. You're listening to Bed Music's Review Corner here on Unseen Radio, and Gary, did his music and rhythms find their way into the secret places of your soul? <laughs> I don't know, we'll have a shower or a check. <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. I used to listen to a bit of uh, drum and bass back in the day, I think, you know, they call it concept, you know, liquid, ambient stuff. Um, I don't know what kind of liquid that was, but yeah, it was okay. It was. It didn't do much for me, really. Um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? We were waiting for the drop, weren't we? Well, I don't know if you were in this year, but I wanted to um, wave my finger in a rhythmical fashion like, while well, I sit, you know, it dropped, but he didn't seem to do that. But then that's not what he's trying to do, is it? He's, with his uh, ambient, what did you call it a minute ago? Uh, ambient future drum and bass yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It didn't quite penetrate the secret parts of my soul, I don't think, but it's all right, it's quite good, but, you know, I just wanted, I was waiting for the drop, that's all I wanted. <laughs> dropless. <laughs> it was dropless for me, yeah. Yep. That's it, yeah. Sampling tractors and yeah. weird stuff. Is that what it was on it, tractors? I think so. Oh, right, yeah. If I remember what his SoundCloud said. Yeah. Becky? Um, <laughs> I didn't like it, to be honest. It was a bit long for me, and I think... Um, I don't know, I think yeah, it has to be in context really, drum and bass, doesn't it? It's not for me, I don't really like that kind of music. Um, sorry. Yeah, oh, that's... So you should be. Fair enough. W would you ever listen to it? You think? No. In any context whatsoever? Probably not. No. Not by choice. I didn't mind it. <laughs> Only if you were forced a into a studio. Now. Now. I'd, I didn't mind it, but I probably wouldn't listen to it. This poor home. character is trying really hard with his track. Yeah, yeah he's slagging you him just off. Just slag him off. All these people. Yeah, you well, didn't uh, like it either. You were waiting for the drop. <laughs> I was waiting for the drop, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Chris, but um, some constructive feedback and some... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, if you did like that, his name is CDR for Chris something Robinson. Daniel, David. Dwayne. It's not what drop. Drop. Yeah. drop. It's definitely not a drop. <laughs> and he's done a remix of everything from the XX to the Beatles. So, what will our scores be, Gary? A, um, a watery six. Uh -huh. Well, um, I was going to say five, but then you said he'd sampled a tractor, so, you know. <laughs> I've got to knock four marks off for the um, for the non-drop, but six. I'm going to give it a four. <laughs> Tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So, what were your favourite songs of the show? That, that is the end, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. Well, my high school was for Julian, but... Um, you know, I'm glad everyone's trying to make music. You know, the drum and bass man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Julian, CDR. CDR. Julian. The mobs. mobs. You know, it's, it's great people yep. do things, isn't it? That's the main thing, I think, we can take from this um, spherical table. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, your favourite song of the show? Um, I, I like uh, the last song, I think. That's my favourite. Why did you score it, Lois, then? I yeah. feel bad for the character now. <laughs> no, gonna... Gary might want to change his score. No, I suppose it has to be Julian to score the highest, but the mobs come in yeah. a close second. And Becky? I, yeah, b both of both the mobs and Julian, I think they're, they're very different songs, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of both of them. OK, so I'm afraid in, in third place, we'll say, with this song, This Is CDR, it was CDR. Second place was The Mobs. But in first place, it was Julian Stone, JJ Stone and the Campfire, with his a lion, Zebra and a Lion. And mm. we played some of those songs because they're playing at Nestival this weekend on Saturday the 6th and Sunday the 7th of July for free at Midsummer Meadows. There is also a comedy fundraising gig. Yes, that's uh, July the 3rd, and it's uh, Nick Helm and David Trent doing their Edinburgh preview shows. And it's Fantastic. at the Lamplighter, and it's £5 a ticket. It's limited tickets, so if you want one, you can buy one from the pub. 
Um, yeah, there's a couple of other comedians. It'd be really good. Yeah. Is that the one you've got C- CDR DJing at as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, um, he's going to bring his tractor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to be here next week with another set of opinionated folk talking through the week's latest local releases. But from me and everyone else here in Northampton, goodbye. Bye. 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 You haven't seen it. You've unseen it. Unseen Radio. The Lodge Roll-Up. Hear it before it happens. On Unseen Radio. Hello and welcome to the first ever Lodge Roll-Up with me, your host, Joe Payne. This is the place to come and find out what live music is happening each weekend in Northampton. You can literally hear it before it happens. And what better way to help you make up your mind about what you should see than by giving you a taste of the artists right now. We've got four very special live performances coming up from artists performing at Nestival this weekend, all sampled from the live room at the Lodge Recording Studios. First up, this is Oh Boy with Victoria, the musical. punchy anthem Victoria the Musical. You can catch these guys on Saturday 6th of July at Nestival which is all happening on Midsummer Meadow along Northampton's Bedford Road. It's totally free so no excuses not to check it out. Nestival is going on across the entire weekend and the great music continues into Sunday with this next gentleman presenting Kenneth J. Nash with his heartfelt performance of Leaving Song.
This time it's for good She's leaving you all behind Her friends in the neighborhood And she's paced these wooden boards For far too many miles And her faith is gone And she's running out of smiles all you sycophants and traitors Of poor virtue are you? What about you? And you lied and you cheated And you hurt you train ticket sometime last week and you didn't have a clue packed as much as she could carry and she gave away the rest where everything was just too much for her and she couldn't match the bed all you sycophants and traits of poor virtue are yet what about you? And you lied and you cheated. For all you sycophants and traits of poor virtue are yet what about you? You lied and you cheated Sick of fans and traits of poor virtue, are you? What about you? You lied and you cheated. Now, Kenneth has recently become an ambassador for Auden Guitars, so if you like the sound of that acoustic, I sincerely recommend visiting AudenGuitars.com and having a look at these handcrafted beauties. You can also follow Kenneth J. Nash on Facebook or tweet him at Kenneth J. Nash. Something else to look forward to on Sunday, this is Rockabilly Sensation, Sergeant Bilko's Crazy Combo with Bring the Shutters Down. Time story, mother read the riot act, knowing that a judge and jury give him all the time she lacks. So when it is discovered, we free him back in town. Right, a mother gonna bring the shutters down. Gonna bring the shutters down. Never felt it 
that built of a cool Never even knew his dad He put up a wall of knuckle To anything that drives him mad So when it is discovered Free him back in town His own fright and mother Gonna bring the shutters down Gonna bring the shutters down She's so ashamed of what he's done Takes the blame for what he's done She wants to hide from everyone double bass that was sunday headliner sergeant bilko's crazy combo and you can find these guys on facebook and if you didn't think they were crazy enough already they spell crazy with a k crazy now remember that nestival is not just about music there's all sorts of other things going on across midsummer meadow including the sunday project to explain this is an open art experience where anyone can pick up a brush and join in so whether you're a doodler or the next van gogh Get down to the Sunday Project and get messy. More music now from our final guest at this week's Lodge Roll-Up. You'll catch this guy opening the Serious Types stage on Sunday. This is Mr Joe Woolley with his arrangement of the traditional border ballad, Lord Lankin. Said my lord to my lady As he mounted his horse Beware of Long Lankin, he lives in the moss. He kissed his fair lady and he rode away. He was in London before break of day. The doors were all bolted and the windows open. Tiny crack, long lankin crept in. Where's the little lord of this house? Said long lankin. He's asleep in his cradle. Said the cruel nurse to him. Him with a long silver pin. The cruel nurse held a silver bowl and the blood it flowed in. Oh, nurse, how you slumber. Oh, nurse, how you snore. I hear my little baby, he cries and he rolls. Oh, nurse, how you slumber, oh, nurse, how you sleep. I hear my little baby, he cries and he weeps. Thinking no harm 
Lankin stood ready and caught her in his arms. There's blood in the kitchen. Oh, there's blood in the hall. There's blood in the parlor where my lady. Quickly, come see the cruel nurse and Lankin have killed your lady. Lankin was hung on a gibbet so high, the cruel nurse was burned at a fire close by. And you can like Mr. Joe Willie on Facebook or tweet him at Mr. Joe Willie. Now, if you're a band or artist with an event coming up in Northampton and would like to appear on Lodge Roll Up, all you have to do is get in touch with us at www.lodgerecording.co.uk forward slash contact forward slash unseen. That's with two N's, as in the postcode, unseen. You can also like Unseen Radio on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at Unseen Radio. Join me next week as I'll have guest artists and bands from Knee Deep Aldea taking place on the 13th of July at the Racehorse and Penny Whistle. But until then, thank you for listening. I'd like to thank Oh Boy, Kenneth J. Nash, Sergeant Bilko's Crazy Combo and Mr. Joe Willey for helping us launch Unseen Radio with a bang. I've been Joe Payne and this has been an experience. Thank you, goodbye. You haven't seen it. You've unseen it. Unseen Radio. Radio.